Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is your Manchester United versus Bournemouth watch along. Big game for Manchester United, of course. Big changes. Bournemouth here, running off. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Who's marking who there? He's completely unmarked, Solanke. What's going on? This defence is getting banged more times than a porn star's chuff. What the hell is going on there? What, why is that happening there? What, why, why is that happening there? How is that happening there? That's incredible. You've got to look at the centre-backs there. And I've been very happy with Luke Shaw and Harry Maguire, but this is just a cross into the box. Regulon with a terrible ball. McTominay soft in the 50-50. But we're not marked. There's two centre-backs and we've left their striker completely and utterly unmarked. Absolute shit marking there. Yeah, it's it's it's, it, 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 it's a shocking. Uh, the, 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 Stefan's right. The centre backs have fallen asleep there, and it's a shame because I quite like the balance. But you've got to be a lot. You can't leave a striker mark like like that. It, it, it's really bad. Really, really bad. Um, I feel like I feel like to me the the big problem of this game is that, and I don't know what you think. Give me your thoughts, but. I think to me, the big problem here is that we're just not getting a grip on the game. You know, like a game has an identity sometimes. You get your 50 50 as you back and forth, but um, Rasmus is going to warm up here. I, I feel like the game is. Um, it has no identity from Manchester United at the moment. It's just very scrappy. Whereas I can see what Bournemouth are doing, but United just can't get a foothold in the game. I don't. We can't, we can't seem to string anything together that's momentum. That's the word I'm talking about. We can't build any momentum. Against Chelsea, from minute one, we had a momentum. We had a style and, 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 and we knew what we were doing. We're struggling to get any momentum in this game. Oh, God. Bournemouth hit the post. Fucking hell. We're so lucky. Slow Sports News says, as I said before, we'll have one good game and it's not, it's like it's enough. But I, I, I can't I can't say I'm surprised by this. I um I really can't. Um I said it after the Chelsea game, very, very happy with it, but don't expect us to go and start winning playing like that every week. We haven't done that since the days of Sir Alex. Moyes, Mourinho, Van Hal, Oli, Ranyik, Ten Hag. No one's been able to do it. They're on the break again here, Bournemouth. It's a four V three. Good tackle, Maguire. Very good tackle, Maguire, because that that could have been uh, that could have been uh, a goal. A bit of this lovely carrot cake that have been uh, brought. Look at that! It's even got a carrot design on. That's just gone cream down on my laptop. I've now got white stuff all over my bloody laptop keyboard. I can't speak. I can't speak. What a prat. Um, well, I'm still going to eat it, but um, he's going to score today. Rasmus is going to score today. I'm telling you. I'm going to. I'm telling you. We're going to win this game. I've never been. I've never been concerned. We're going to win this game, and Rasmus is going to score. You know it's true. Cross comes in. Tommy. Oh, they nearly bloody scored. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Cross came into the box. Offside anyway. Are you trying to jinx it? Says, I'm not trying to jinx it. I just have to comment on the game, don't you? He wouldn't have been offside anyway. He would have been offside. He was miles off. A ICAM just says, I'm dreading Anfield. I said this at half time. We can't go to Anfield and play like this. You can't go to Anfield and leave Amrabat on his own in the midfield with McTominay just dancing around looking for goals in the box and Bruno as the attacking midfield. You can't even fucking play like this at Anfield. So when is he going to start changing to play away a style that works again, that works away from home? Here's Delo. What? Why? Why is he fucking shooting from there? This is just this. This. All he's got to do is cut it back and he fucking shoots. No, he's not terrible. He's done everything right. He's, he's you know, Anthony again, lovely ball. He's got to, he's got to, he's got to cross that. 
It's 2-0. It's 2-0. Um, it's fucking... It's a fucking joke. It's an absolute fucking joke. It's 2-0 to Bournemouth. That's going to be game over. Cross into the box. As we said at half-time, you know, United's form. You beat Chelsea. You play well. You play Newcastle. You play shit. You play Bournemouth at home. You play shit. The form is up and down like a porn star's knickers. And that defence, unfortunately, has all the structural confidence of a chocolate mousse brick in a heatwave. And guess what? It leaves a big, brown, sticky mess. It's shit. Absolute shit. I don't even know where the goal comes from. Regwalon, I told you, he's fucking rubbish. Regwalon's defensively shit. He's defensively shit, Regwalon. That's not Luke Shaw's fault. How's that Luke Shaw's fault? It's not his man. The player comes on the back post and, and batters him. How is that Luke Shaw's fault? It's Regwalon. Well, that's that. Anfield is going to be Ten Hag's last game. Chris, can I just say, if you're talking about Ten Hag out, you're a fucking prick, Chris. You're a fucking prick. He's just one manager of the month. We're three points off fourth. What is this Ten Hag out movement all about? I don't. It's it's, it's the it's the it's the excuse of an idiot. How is he sackable? What are you bloody talking about? How How is it even being spoken about that Ten Hag needs sacking? We're three points off fourth place. You, he's not getting the sack. Shut up. Stop talking nonsense. He will not get the sack. He should not get the sack. What you're doing is lashing out at a manager because you don't understand that your club's fucking shit. Old Trafford should have been fixed years ago. We're in massive debt. We've bought fucking idiots for years who, who, who earn ridiculous amounts of money. And you want to sack another manager and bring somebody else in. Fuck off. Idiot. Idiot. Absolute idiot. There is no reason for Ten Hag out to, being, to, be, to be shouted. We're not in that position. What we need is what we didn't get. We needed the Glazers to fuck off. And we needed to rebuild the club uh, properly. Maybe Sir Jim Radcliffe's going to do something. Maybe he's not. But sacking a manager is so boring. I've, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing sack another manager. And do what, Chris? What are you going to do? What are we going to do if we sack Ten Hag next week? What are we going to do? Give Steve McLaren the job. It's raining. He can bring his fucking brolly out. 3-0. Fuck off. 3-0. This is a fucking joke. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at all the bloody defenders. Look at all the United team. Stood there. Stood there. Out of their depth. They've got that vacant look in their eyes. You know when a dog's taking a shit? Have you ever looked it in the eye? That's what United's defence looked like. Just vacant. Absolute fucking joke. How are we conceding from another fucking cross on a corner? Absolutely incredible. Mentality of a dead wasp. How are we conceding from a fucking corner? Mm, Tommy Maguire's just gone and got point, caught in possession. 4-0. Maguire's going to get roasted for that. Fucking hell. 4-0. 4-0. What did I say? What did I say in the summer? What did I say in the summer? What did I say in the summer? I said in the summer... Manchester United are going to get battered two or three times this season. Before the season even started, I said Man United are going to get battered at least a couple of times this season. It's not even Christmas and it's already happened. It's already happened. This is a, a Bournemouth 4, Manchester United 0 at Old Trafford. It's just it's a mentality. Harry Maguire has had a great month. He's player of the month for the Premier League. And he's had a shit, shit game. Absolute shit. Luke Shaw, shit game. Anana coming with his fucking feet. Possible handball. I'll just give him the fucking goal. I can't be arsed with this anymore. I tell you what, let them have the goal. Give them the goal. I don't fucking want any more delays. Get, Give them the goal. Stop. Shove your VAR up your ass. Oh, was there a possible handball? Fuck off. 
Not interested. Get on with it. 3-0. Goal's not been given. <laughs> Give him the fucking goal. Give him the goal. Fuck off. Ah, boo. VAR. Boo. Boo. Give him the fucking goal. Even as a United fan. Give him the fucking goal. They deserve it.